until the end of the ceremonies. Left a lasting impact. This past year has been unforgettable, full of new and old faces. As many of you know, our careers were significantly interrupted during our sophomore year. I honestly still mourn my unfulfilled days inside of Miss Parrish's biology class, even though I know we all felt the same excitement when the first days of quarantine began. The COVID restrictions persisted and forced us to experience more modified school days, such as with lunches in classrooms and the lack of lockers. And this was until our most recent semester. And while I know these times of change led to some negative feelings, I think it was also a prominent motivator for the future. Look at everyone around you and recognize how strong and intelligent each and every single one of you are. We grew, we matured, and most importantly, we learned. When I was younger, I was absolutely terrified of growing up. I remember spending countless nights in my mother's arms, begging her to shield me from the future. While I am sure some of you did not share the same sentiment, both of us have still reached the finish line. As I have grown these past few years, I have come to realize that one of the most important aspects of life is to take what it gives you and make it into something even better. Something that you will be proud of and can show off to everyone around you. If you wallow and wait for life to give you exactly what you want, you will not only be disappointed, but also miss out on any future prospects. Even though it seems to be cliche and simple-minded, but as somewhat of my own namesake once said, life's what you make it, so let's make it rock. Always keep yourself realistic and don't let your expectations ludicrously high, but work your hardest and push for those aspirations. A life of no accomplishments or enjoyment is only one full of regret. As a graduating BCHS student and as a final send off, I hope that all future and current students will be able to have plenty of opportunities to achieve their goals and also be wonderful adults in the future. This is a fantastic school and I wish you all the best. Congratulations to the class of 2022 and thank you for your time. your family because you're graduating. They share this and the day you were born and they were so proud when you arrived into this world. For most of you, you were born somewhere between October of 2003 into the late year of 2004. So let's take a walk down memory lane, parents, to see what was happening in our lives when the graduates were born. Unfortunately, our graduates were born in the aftermath of 9-11. You arrived during a historic time of the Afghanistan war. And ironically enough, you are graduating during a historic time in the aftermath of a pandemic, COVID. Parents and family members, do you remember some of these things? George W. Bush was in the White House. The Boston Red Sox won the World Series in the fall of 2004. The New England Patriots became the Super Bowl 38 champions. The Connecticut Huskies won the 2004 NCAA Basketball Championship. Dale Earnhardt Jr. won the Daytona 500. And we lost some great Americans. Bob Hope, Ray Charles, and President Ronald Reagan passed away during that time. Usher, Alicia Keys, Tim Graw, and Gretchen Wilson were singing on our radios. And in the movie theater, we went to see Man on Fire, Walking Tall, the new one, Shark Tale, and Shrimp 2. And we tuned in at every night, you know, we go watch our TVs, and what we were watching was Lost, House, and who could forget Desperate Housewives. You remember that, families? Somewhere in the middle of all that, seniors, you were born. And on the day you were born, your parents and your families rejoiced, lifted you up, and celebrated your arrival. And today, we lift you up again. Now, let's take a walk through the last four years. Your high school career has been one to remember. Your freshman year was your only normal year of high school. You were new to Vesper City High School. I was a principal that was new to Vesper City High School. It was my first year here, your first year here as a student. And I had lots of rules and they were strict. And you came in and said, who is this mean woman? But we survived and you did very well that first year. You adjusted and it was a great year. 
Then everything's going great, sophomore year, and bam, in March, we closed the schools because of COVID. And at first, you guys were real excited about that. But then junior year comes around and you only get to come to school two days a week. The other three days, you sat at home and worked on a Chromebook and did your work online. Senior year starts and we're wearing masks. We're still wearing masks that senior year. There were so many things you wanted to do that I had to say no to. I became the no principal. You guys said, don't ask her. She's going to say no anyway. But I was following all those guidelines for COVID. Finally, we got to take off those masks and I got to open the cafeteria. And you got to go sit in the senior cafe the last month of school. So you got to be in the senior cafe one month. I know that's a little sad, but at least you got to for a little bit. We had an awesome senior picnic. You guys played kickball and tug of war, and you all celebrated and had so much fun. I really enjoyed that. Then that brings me to the senior prank. It was funny. Dr. Potter and I thought it was kind of funny, but Miss Nick didn't. She's the first one here in the mornings, so she started cleaning it up. So by the time I got here, it was cleaned up. She wasn't happy, and then she said, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. And those of you who don't know what the senior prank was, they took hot dogs and put them on forks in the front entrance in the grass and stuck them up, and they put Vaseline all under the door handles. But most of your hot dogs were gone. Do you know who ate them? Your new mascot, Stinger. He ate most of your hot dogs, because we saw it on video. So most of your hot dogs were eaten. But it was still funny. And then I was excited when my parking space had chalk in it, and you put we heart Dr. Ryan. I was like, yes. So they did that so I wouldn't be mad. But it was funny. <laughs> Let's talk about some of your accomplishments. Our men's basketball team won the 1A Southern Piedmont Conference Championship. They won the sectional finals and went deep in the state playoffs. Yes, let's give them... Lillian Lee Crowder. Kimora Rocky Davis. Faith Victoria Brown. Patrick Michael D. Tyler Michael Dunworth. Daryl Gregory Lego. Justice Alexander Ellis. Chance Hefner. 
Oh, yeah, okay. Joshua Antonio Mason. <laughs> Haley Michelle Mayberry. <laughs> John Garrett O'Brien. <laughs> Madison Brooke Parker. Madison <laughs> Caleb Matthew Faisor. Lacey Elizabeth Petrie. Magnitude. Veron Jamal Phelps. Wilson. 
Rioche Winger. Danny Romero. Woo! You did it, bro! Tyre Centel Chambers. Tristan Zaywan McCrimmon. Before we conclude our ceremony, remember that the graduates will process out on the visitor side and they'll go to the gym to pick up their diplomas. No family or friends are allowed on the field at that time. Graduates, you have 30 minutes to get inside to get your diploma. Now, let's conclude our ceremony. On behalf of the faculty and staff, I want to congratulate the class of 2022. We are proud of you and wish you great success. And now, seniors, as the final act your class will perform together, please rise. Please rise.